Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and I wanted to show you how to use the Orion GoScope 3 70mm. Uh, you've got it set up, uh, you've assembled it, you've uh, attached all the parts and pieces, now what do you do? So let's get started and I'll show you exactly step by step uh, how to use the telescope. Well, the first step uh, to using the telescope is to uh, make sure you've got the right eyepiece in to begin with. Uh, there's two that come with it, a 20 and a 9mm. You always want to start with the low power, and contrary to what you might think, the higher the number, the lower the power. So the 20 is your low power and the 9 is the high power. So always start with a 20 millimeter. It gives you the widest field of view and then you can find something um, easily with it and then zoom in later with higher power eyepieces. All right, now it's time to align the finder telescope. Remember I said this is not aligned to the main uh, telescope during initial setup. I screw this all down but it's not pointing exactly parallel, so you've got to calibrate it so it is looking at the same thing. Otherwise, it'll be harder to find things in the sky when the crosshair in here is not lined up on the object that you see here. So the way you do that is to find some object off in the distance during the day, a tree, a power pole. Uh, make sure it's a good amount away, like a quarter mile or more, uh, so you get rid of any parallax. Find it the hard way first. Find it through the main telescope here um, and get it centered in the eyepiece. Okay, so now it's centered in here. Now, if I was to look through the finder scope, I'm going to take these caps off. If I was to look through the finder scope here, I see the building, but it's not centered in the crosshair. So that's what these three screws are on the perimeter are for. You just have to kind of experiment. Loosen one, tighten another, and it adjusts the tip tilt of the finder until it's overlapping with what you see in here. So get it aligned there. And then the last step you do is just all three are kind of snug, so it's holding position. Verify that it's still there, because as you do the adjustment, you might move the telescope there. Okay, so now the crosshair sees exactly what's in the middle of the main scope. So now I can use the finder scope first to find the moon, to find the boat out there, whatever I'm looking at. And I'll know it will be in the field of view of my low-power eyepiece. All right, now that your finder is aligned, you've got your low-power eyepiece in there, you're ready to, to view things. Uh, let me just tell you a little bit about the tripod. Um, you can raise and lower the height Right now I've got it at its high point. If you hold on to the um, elevator uh, crank here and loosen the elevator lock knob, you can lower it down. So I actually like using this tripod on a little uh, tabletop. If you've got some small patio table or picnic table, you can adjust the height of the legs up and down here. Uh, find the right height so you're standing up while it's sitting on a table or sitting down uh, in a little chair or drummer stool. Um, you can have a nice comfortable angle with it. So get the height adjusted, your finder is aligned, you've got the low power eyepiece in there. Now it's time to just find things in the, uh, in the sky or off in the distance and I'll show you how to do that next. The telescope moves up and down left and right on this tripod uh, head here so um, there's a couple of locks and levers for that. The, the handle is the lock for the up and down motion so just loosen the handle and then you can pivot the telescope up and down. Uh, and then there's a lock here, loosen that, and using the lever you can just pan left and right as well. So you'd be using this to aim the telescope, and once you get it in the right position using the finder scope, lock down the knob, lock down the handle on the side, and it'll stay put looking at the object that you found. All right, so let's say you found something that you want to look at out there. You use the finder scope that we've previously aligned. Uh, use the crosshair, get the object, uh, like the distant tree or boat, whatever you're looking at, right in the center of the crosshair. Look through your 20 millimeter and you'll find it right in the middle of the field. Uh, now it's time to adjust that. If you want a closer view, you simply just loosen the set screw on the side here, pull the eyepiece out, drop the higher power one in, tighten it down, and then you'll probably have to refocus. And that's just a simple uh, uh, twist of the knob right here. There's a little lock on the top. Make sure that's somewhat loose. You don't want to be trying to focus with this thing locked down. Uh, and then just focus in and out until you get a nice sharp image in the, uh, in the eyepiece. The GoScope also comes with a handy guide for looking at the moon. Uh, this is the Moon Map 260. It's a fold-out chart uh, featuring uh, the moon surface uh, with all the craters and interesting features identified and then uh, a label on the side with uh, the names of, uh, of each object. Uh, what I like about it is there's two different um, pictures of the moon. The correct image map which is what you're going to use with this refractor because it comes with a correct image diagonal. Uh, but, the teles but the guide also comes with a uh, mirror image map as well in case you're using some other telescope uh, that might have a, a mirror image design as well. So a very uh, handy guide to have for identifying features on the moon. All right, well, that was a real simple uh, tutorial. Uh, the telescope is easy to use, uh, quick to set up. Uh, this is the Orion GoScope 3 70mm. Thank you very much. Clear skies.